We came to this field near Manchester yesterday because the beautiful artefacts that had been found on the surface led local archaeologists to believe there might be a small Roman fort here. Well, not only have we not found a small Roman fort, we haven't found a small Roman anything. No pottery, no metal finds, no roof tile, no brick, absolutely nothing, even though we've dug a trench the length of a Heathrow runway. I feel as though I'm surrounded by low-key chaos. Yes, that's because we're desperately trying to find out as much as we can about the whole field in a very short time. Once we get through the topsoil, which is where most of the finds are, once we get into the subsoil, we're not getting anything at all. So <laughs> what does all this tell us? It's telling us quite a lot. I mean, it's telling us that this soil has to be manure. That's where most of these modern finds are getting in, finding their way in. And then it's also telling us that below that, there's a rather different soil, which may represent pasture and then possibly earlier fields are, are beneath that, but that earlier soil wasn't being heavily manured. A bit frustrating for you, though, all this digging empty trenches. I spent my entire life digging holes and finding nothing. I went with Ian, you know, the main digger driver here. He and I dug 1,800 metres across Salisbury Plain in four days. And what do we find? One post hole. Was I disappointed? No, of course I wasn't disappointed. The main thing is you solve the problem. We came here three days ago. We came here with a set of questions. We wanted to know about the forklift. We wanted to know about the metal objects in the plow saw. And I think over those three days, we've answered the specific targets. I know what did really hack you off though. The local pub didn't serve real ale. <laughs> yes, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 you invite the time team in and we find absolutely nothing. Your mates are going to take the mick out of you, aren't they? They <laughs> certainly <laughs> are. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Well, you said you wanted something different, Tony, yeah. and we've given it you. Thank you very much <laughs> indeed. <Pleasure. laughs> so you're going to keep on with your archaeology? We've got plenty more fields to search, plenty more fields to field walk, so yeah. And you're going to keep on metal detecting? Certainly am. I expect you'll give us another ring soon. But certainly, find something different. <laughs> <laughs> we might not answer. <laughs> But to be fair to the guys, we have learned something. The archaeology has proved that these fields have been farmed for 2,000 years, explaining how all the artefacts got here. This could be any field in Britain, and these finds, many of which have come up in the last few hours, could be seen to indicate the presence of a Victorian building, or a Roman villa, or a prehistoric settlement, but now, thanks to our better understanding of the results of metal detecting and field walking, we realise that this is a not untypical assemblage. It's what Francis rather poetically calls the background noise of antiquity. It's taken us over 400 metres worth of trenches to sort this little lot out. And it makes you wonder how many other sites there are out there that exist merely on the basis of a few finds and a bit of wishful thinking. Oh, and one other thing. Finally, we've done what we always threatened. After 160 programmes, we found absolutely nothing. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan-funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses plus lots more.